Well, I hadn't heard that before today, but it's nice. Um, that is a cover on the piano of a Radiohead song that I like. It's called A Wolf at the Door. And um, it's this channel I found called Alex Franklin. Uh, you know, could also be the person's name. I think it's just the channel name. So I don't know. But no, uh, this person does piano covers of a lot of songs that I really like. And uh, I figured I, I can't, you know, I can't play these songs, so I'm just going to play the piano covers. And there's some really good ones. But welcome to the stream, everybody. And thank you for joining. I guess before we begin, um, yes, there was many, many a game reveal today. And I'm not going to go into full details. Maybe you know, when I play Vampire Survivors next, which will be sometime this week. That'll be a really good time to talk about all this stuff. But I'll give you kind of an overview of what I saw, which I did not see everything. Um, really quickly, I will just say that it was pretty good from what I saw. Like, the Bethesda Microsoft conference was full of lies. But, you know, it's good. Like, all right, let's start with the big one, Starfield. No Todd Sky. Now, it looked pretty good. It didn't blow me away, but there was some cool stuff in it. What blew me away was this. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're not just here to shoot Dude's face is on backwards. The first of, I would assume, very, very many glitches was caught on camera in the trailer. As someone who's played a lot of Skyrim, this is very good. I'm excited about this. 1,000 planets of permanent, permanent, permanent spine damage. That's actually a rare alien species. Oh, man. No, but um, it looked pretty okay. It didn't blow me away. That rhymed. And, uh, you know, it's a little weird that but I'm excited to play it and see all the glitches. I guess you can customize your ship. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, um, what else? Diablo 4 actually looked nice, but, um, like, the visuals are, are good and everything, but after Immortal, it's like, it's like, yo, ease up on the Diablo, dog. That and... Please do not sell pay-to-win items. But I don't really, it's Zombie Blizzard, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Scorn looks cool, but I played an early version of that, and the, um, level design wasn't amazing. But we'll see. It looked really great, though. H.R. Giger inspired. Awesome. Uh, Sea of Thieves new season. That's cool. Little customization stuff. And, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I just thought that that game was really cool, and it getting a bunch of new stuff. That's great. Uh, I didn't watch all of it. So I'll watch it, and then when I play Vampire Survivors, I'll talk more about it. And, um... It just seemed like they had a lot of games, and all of it... Well, most of it was on Game Pass, so... That's good. Um... Minecraft is... There's an another Minecraft. That's nice. I saw a little bit of it. The PC Gaming Show had a couple things, one of which you will see tonight. But Dusk HD was a surprise. Why did they show a Half-Life Alex mod? That was weird. There was a lot of gameplay. There's a ton of gameplay for a mod, and I think the voices were, were they AI? I'm not really sure what was going on, but, um... Ev someone said it was, like, uh, either an AI or sound-alikes, but... Alright. You know, whatever. But I'm, I'm happy that mods are looking that good. I'm probably gonna play that. Because it looked really high quality. Um, that Agent 64 game looked cool. I'm gonna play that tonight. System Shock looks good. Continues to look good. Um, I'm sure someone would have something different to say about that, but I never played the originals. Gloomwood, I'm excited about that. Norland, Medieval Rimworld, looked awesome. I mean, I hope it is, at least. Uh, what else? Welcome to Nivalis was like, run a noodle shop in Blade Runner. So, that should be fun for me to stream. That uh, underwater game, the Abyssal game, looked pretty cool. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, da, 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 what is it? A Silk Song looks like... It, it looks like Hollow Knight. 
That's nice. I mean, we didn't get a reveal, but it looks, it looks silky. It looks good. I'm excited about it. But other than that, you know, Core Keeper is getting some DLC. There's a ton of updates and like, you know, trailers for stuff that we didn't get uh, release windows. But overall, I would say that there is a lot of interesting stuff from what I did see, which again, I today I didn't I didn't watch all of it. I was just kind of in and out watching a little bit here and there and I caught up a little later. But I will say, um, you know, there's some stuff that I'm excited about. But uh, yes, I hope we get a Nintendo Direct at some point to complete the circle. And um, what was that? XCOM with Wizards? Sure, sign me the fuck up. Did you hear about the Final Fantasy VII anniversary stream on Thursday? Well, we got uh, Capcom as well. So there's more that I will be able to talk about during my Vampire Survivor. Will you cover a Direct if there is one? Sure, and I may cover the um, Capcom. Vinny, can you do me a solid and come over and help me with my plumbing? Tub won't stop running. I will be there after the stream. So just um, put a diaper in it. Like, like cover it with a diaper for a little while and it'll be all right. Anyway, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about what was revealed today. I didn't feel like doing its own segment, so we're doing a starting soon discussion. Um, in other news, you may notice a special guest in chat. Uh, I have a good announcement is that uh, Chuck Salamone and I uh, got a chance to hang out and we and by the way hi Chuck and Chuck is a very very cool musician who you may know from the Hylix soundtrack and uh, Chuck will be guesting on a future Red Vox song so just something cool that happened and it was it was really awesome so Thanks for stopping by, Chuck. It's It was really cool to make some music with you, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so then uh, that there's that. And also, if you haven't, check out the Hylix music, especially Moon Age Lobotomy. I really like that stuff. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but Chuck showed me some stuff he's working on, music projects. And uh, I got to say, chat, three thumbs up. I don't have three thumbs, but, you know, and I'm not just saying that I already like the music, but then when you, you know, you know, you hear some of this stuff you will enjoy if you're a fan of the Hylix. So that's, that's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching this intro to melancholy covers of Tom York and Johnny Greenwood songs. And, uh, yeah. I guess we can begin. Again, you're listening to the smooth stylings of a YouTuber I just found called Alex Franklin, who does piano covers of a lot of music I really enjoy. Now, let us begin.